The single and the group have the same name. What is it? Living in a Box. In a cardboard one, yes, for two points. Name the follow-up single to Living in a Box. Scares Justice. Absolutely right, you get another two points there. Name the lead singer of Living in a Box. Richard Derbyshire. Absolutely correct. You score six points there. And Eugene, what does that do to the scores, please? <laughs> Armbrook have 16 and Montague have 36. <laughs> More pop for you now. This time I want to see how good our teams are at recognising the faces of their favourite pop stars because hidden behind the spinning golden disc are two of those faces. Armthorpe School, can you, for four points, pick a colour, Tracy? White, please. White. <laughs> Denise Pearson. No, it's not Denise Pearson, I'm afraid. Red, please. Red. <laughs> Not any clearer? No blue, please. Another colour. Do you recognise her? No. No? It's in fact Linda Ronstadt. But never mind, never mind, you can't know everybody. Montague School, can you, for four points, pick your first colour, please, Alison? Red, please. Red. <laughs> Phil Collins. Let's take a look. And you score four points, Madeline Vaughan. Well, it's back to the skateboard park now for more Atari 720. Only this time it's more difficult because we've got the water hazards. Uh, Andrew's going for Armthorpe and Matthew for Montague. Andrew, you're first. <laughs> your turn. See if you can do any better than that. did the course in 28 seconds and Matthew in 23 seconds so it's two points to Montague there and before we go into the final round let's take a look at the scores please Eugene Armthorpe have 16 Montague have 42 points yeah! come on Armthorpe this is the final general knowledge round you can do it you can catch up some points in this round because there are plenty of them I can assure you so it's first on the buzzers, two points for a correct answer and no conferring. Which comedy television series tells the story of a family of likeable rogues called the Boswells? Armthorpe Tracy. Bread. And that's right for two points. In which European country did Queen Beatrix become the sovereign? Armthorpe Andrew. Amsterdam. No, I can't give you that. Can I give you the full question, Montague School? In which European country did Queen Beatrix become the sovereign in 1980? Uh. Montague Allison. Netherlands. That's right. Now some more music. Listen to this. Name the group. Armthorpe, Samantha. Billy Idol. No, Montague, can you take it? Matthew. Amazulu. That's absolutely correct, but I can understand why you said that, Sam. Two points there. On which island have the Tamil Tigers been in the news? Armthorpe, Tracy. Sri Lanka. That's right, for two points. On your screen now, 
Name this bird. <coughs> Armthorpe Tracy. Kingfisher. That's a kingfisher for two points. In which Shakespeare play does a Montague fall in love with a Capulet? <coughs> Armthorpe Tracy. Hamlet. No, Montague. Uh, Alison. Romeo and Juliet. For two points. On your screen now. That's a famous painting. Name the artist. <coughs> Armthorpe Tracy. Picasso. No, Montague, can you take it? Uh, Matthew. Van Gogh. No, it's actually Joseph Turner. What one word is a planet, a metal, and the messenger? Armthorpe Tracy. Mercury. That's right, the messenger of the gods. And which planet has the same name as a Disney character? Armthorpe Andrew. Pluto. That's right, good on the planets. Cod liver oil is rich in two vitamins. Which vitamins? Uh, Montague Matthew. I and D. That's right for two points. Which Scandinavian country stretches further south? Montague, Alison. Sweden. No, Armthorpe. Tracy. Finland. No, in fact, it was Denmark. What's the 22nd letter of our alphabet? No? <laughs> Samantha. X. No, Montague, can you take it? Alison. U. No, it's in fact V. Very slow in counting backwards. <laughs> in which ocean are the Seychelles Islands to be found? Montague, Alison. Indian. In the Indian Ocean. And that's the final question there, the final question of tonight's heat. Eugene, the scores, please. Armthorpe have 26 and Montague have 52 points. <laughs> Look, Armthorpe, you were up against very, very stiff competition tonight, but thanks for joining us. And Montague, that's a magnificent score. Thank you for joining us. I hope you've enjoyed playing. And that brings us to the end of tonight's show. But do join us next week when two more teams will be playing first class. <laughs>